Today we're going to talk about wireless keyboards and mice and how to resynchronize a keyboard or mouse if you lose synchronization. Here is the receiver. On the receiver, we actually have the connect button and it is actually a little button. I don't know if you can hear that click, click, click. But that's a, a button that you need to push to initialize the synchronization process. We have this, I'm going to put on the back of this PC. into one of the USB ports and you'll notice there's the USB tone and it blinked a couple of times. Now we're going to go back so we know that it received the right thing. Try to move the mouse. The mouse is turned on and I don't have synchronization. Toggle between there and I don't have synchronization. On the commercial keyboard and mouse set, you need to synchronize the mouse first. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this back around so you can see um, that when I push the button, it's going to be hard to see it initially, but after I push it, you'll see that it starts blinking blue. Hold it down for about five seconds, and it'll start blinking. You have 30 seconds during that process to press and hold the white connect key on the mouse that I'm doing now. You hold that for about five seconds and then that should synchronize. And when you let go, the blinking stops. So now we know that this is synchronized. And I won't turn it around just yet because we're now going to do the synchronization on the keyboard. So again, press and hold the connect button for about three or five seconds until it starts blinking blue. Once it starts blinking blue, you can press and hold the connect button. And you want to be pretty close to the uh, receiver. The receiver should be no more than about 30 centimeters away when you uh, are doing that. Doing a silent count in my head for about five to 10 seconds. And when I let go, the blinking stops. The keyboard and mouse are now synchronized. And as proof, We'll go ahead and spin this back around. And we'll see if we get mouse movement. There's the mouse right here. And toggle between Windows Start and Desktop. That's how you synchronize wireless keyboard and mouse. If you have other issues with it, you can move the receiver from a different USB port uh, to either on the side or on the back just to get a different one. You'll hear the USB tone on and off. Uh, if you have, um, in some cases, our USB ports for the dongle are actually hidden under the uh, cover of the PC. So we call it a hidden USB port. And you might have to open up a, a door on the back of the PC, um, or you may have to take the whole cover off, depending on, on the version of the PC that you have. Um, and that's for an all-in-one. For desktops, it's a little different. I hope this video was useful, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.